Happiness is the knowing of our own being as it is. That's what happiness is, the knowing of being. The common name for the knowing of being is I. We call ourselves I, I am. And the religious name for the same experience is God. When we overlook the knowing of our own being, or we mix our own being up with a cluster of thoughts and feelings, we obscure the true nature of I, and therefore we obscure happiness. The essential nature of that I is infinite awareness. And it has become veiled by beliefs and feelings. And instead of being experienced as the infinite I of awareness, it is felt and experienced as the finite I of the separate self. But in both cases, it's the same I. There is infinite consciousness, and there is infinite consciousness with a veil of thoughts and feelings superimposed onto it that make it seem finite. With this veiling of our true nature, the peace and happiness of our true nature is lost. And that is why this veiled awareness, which is the separate self, longs to return. And that is why the separate self is always unhappy, always seeking happiness. Because the separate self is a limitation on our essential nature of pure being. Every desire the separate self has is only the desire to cease being separate. All selves know the experience of happiness. It is a memory. We all, how would it be possible to seek happiness if we didn't know what it tasted like? So at the heart of all separate selves, there is this memory of peace, of love, of happiness. Happiness cannot be delivered by an object, a circumstance, a situation, a relationship. That, that is a profound realization. The happiness it always comes from the inside. Just go straight to the place where happiness resides, which is the knowing of our own being. That's why it's called the pathless path sometimes, because there is no difference from the I that wants to know and the I that is known. There is no distance between being aware and being aware. The one who seeks God, the one who seeks happiness, the one who practices self-inquiry, the one who prays it, they're all seeking the same thing. 